What's up guys, welcome back to The Pasto Life. I'm Ryan. I'm AJ. And we are jumping into some Four Roses Single Barrel Private Selection Barrel Strength. Yeah! Yeah! Can't I, wait for this. I love Four Roses Single Barrel. I think it is one of the most underrated bourbons out there. Oh, yeah. It's readily available pretty much anywhere you go. It's not that expensive. I mean, you can get it under 50 bucks. I mean, yeah. I, everywhere. I'm sorry if you're paying over 50 bucks. You can get it under 50 bucks everywhere. And it's so freaking good. Four Roses is typically a little bit higher rye mash bill, yep. but to me, they are showing what you can do with a high rye mash bill. It is so sweet, complex, floral. It doesn't have the spiciness, to me specifically, I mean, or particularly, yeah, it's, it's super fruity to me. Yes, yeah, very fruity, very sweet. It's got that spiciness, it's complexity to it, but it's, it's not super spice forward like I would expect from a high rye mash bill. Yeah, I don't know about all that. The only reason why I wanted to try it is because look how freaking dark that is. <laughs> I like a dark yeah. bourbon. The darker the better, really, because that yes. just means there's, it's probably full of flavor. Yeah, because it's more flavor. They're not adding caramel coloring to it or anything like yeah. that. So this particular bottle, this is, the recipe is Q, or excuse me, OESQ, which on the back, so they do like 10 different recipes for these bottles uh, when they release them. And this is the OESQ. Q and this is aged nine years and eight months. Good. It's coming in at 62.1 alcohol percent alcohol by volume, so 124.2. You know I'm a proof hound, oh, and yeah. you are becoming am, a proof yeah. hound. You were not a few months ago. With this summer yeah. when we first started, you were not that into proof. It no. was okay. Yeah, I didn't mind it. Yeah, it's not like I hated it, but I've I've learned to like it more. Yeah. Because there's, of there's more flavors. In there's it. so much more flavor to it. Yeah. So this is coming out of uh, Warehouse TS, and this is barrel number 85.6I. I. I. Okay. Don't understand y'all's uh, system. Let's break it up. Yeah, let's break it up. Go for it. This is... And you know what I, what I love about Four Roses, too? The, the single barrels? I love this little leather strap here. That's pretty cool, yeah. And I don't know. If anybody... Did you ever get into watching The Ranch on Netflix? With Ashton with Kutcher, with yeah. Kutcher, and uh, what's the what's the other actor, the old guy, uh, Marlboro Man, oh, uh, Sam, the uh, like the Sam, yeah. oh, Gooch, Nike, Sam, Sam, the guy that talks like yeah. a country western. With, with the Marlboro Man, they made a point that they had the Four Roses single barrels in there, and they always talk about this being the good stuff. Yeah, I love that show. And so that was when I first started trying. I was like, all right, it's the good stuff. I gotta try that. That was like at the beginning of my bourbon journey, and I'm, I'm excited. All right, cork pop, cork pop. <laughs> Not terrible. You got some on my hand. It smells good. And I love that. I love that top. Yeah, it's a, the cork that's inside. It's got a good glug, glug, glug right off the bat. Now, what does this usually run? This one, I believe I picked up, I picked this up a little while ago. It's been, it's been sitting there. Around 65-ish, 65, 70-ish. Oh. Somewhere in that range. Oh, that smells good. So, your prices vary from store to store, state to state. Yeah. So, it was somewhere in that, I think, in that 70-ish range, and oh my God, God. I can, that I can already good. smell that coming out of the glass there. That looks good. I'm excited for this. I've been excited for this for a while now. Yeah, we keep talking about opening this bottle and we haven't done yeah. it in a while. And Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm picking up like strawberry. I'm picking up candy. So what I'm picking up, okay, so. A sugar factory in there. Those strawberry candies that the wrapper looks like a strawberry. That's what I'm picking up is that that strawberry. I yeah. love that freaking strawberry candy. I don't. Way. I used to because I didn't know any better when oh, I was a dumb kid. But. Dude, I mean, like a little bit of cherry, but like I'm getting that strawberry candy. Like that's a predominant yeah. note so, to me. In famous Four Roses fashion, uh, it's very fruity. Very fruity yeah. on the nose. A little bit of I a floral haven't... note. Yeah, I haven't tasted a Four Roses that isn't fruity. Yeah, it's, it's got it's got those classic Four Roses attributes to it. The classic Four Roses smells. Yeah. What's the best word for that? Smells, attributes. Smells, attributes. Dingus uh, pops. Dingus pops, yeah. Yeah. It's got the Four Roses smell to it. <laughs> By God. By God. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to put this in my mouth though. That's what she said. <laughs> it just smells so good. And it, it's you know what? It doesn't smell like 124 proof either. No, it doesn't. Like it's not like burning out my uh, sinuses. There's definitely a floral note. You getting you getting some of the brown sugar, but the brown sugar, a little bit of this creamy uh, like Werther's original note, but that's like that's subdued. That's underneath. Yeah. That floral, fruity, candy note in there. Got some good legs on it too. Yeah, 
color is just freaking gorgeous. Let's thank these. Let's thank them. Oh. Let's thank them. Let's thank them. Thank before you drink, thank baby. Thank before you drink, baby. Cheers. Okay, it's a little hot. See, I'm not getting that. But it's good. <laughs> it's so good. Nice Kentucky hug. How do you go back for that second? That's that's amazing. That's so good. See, I'm not. I'm. This is not my first pour of the night. I've kind of ladder climbed up a little bit. I've been above 100 proof tonight already. Um, the highest I've been is 93. Yeah. So I think that's why you're picking up the heat that I'm not picking up on right now. I'm picking up the proof. Yeah. I mean, there, there's no doubt that this is above 115. Yeah. To me, no doubt about it. Love it. It is. It's got that. The floral notes are coming through. That candy note is coming through on it. The fruitiness, very fruity. Yeah. Very, very fruity to me. Even now, it's been a good 25 seconds since I've had that second uh, sip. There's just nothing but fruity flavors on the tongue still. Yeah. The finish, it just keeps going. Yeah. Just keeps going. It's not the most oily finish that I've, I've had. No, not oily at all. It, it kind of dissipates no. real quick. Yeah, but uh, it's but not. It leaves you with the flavors. Yeah, but it's not. It's not thin. No, it's just a, a just that nice middle ground. I get that fruit right up front. Kind of goes into that creamy, brown sugary with a little bit of like cinnamon, yeah. almost like baking spice right there mid palate. Heavy with the baking spice for me. Yeah, and the finish. You get the oak on the finish, and that yeah, baking spice tangy. really hits. Yeah, that tannicky, oaky, yeah. but in a good way. Yeah, I it, I don't like that bitterness that it kind of leaves with the tannins. This right here, though, not bad at all. Yeah. Why? Because it's balanced with, uh, a, it, it kind of overcompensates with the fruit. Yeah. With me? Yeah, because to so me. it's actually okay. Yeah, so to me, it's like, it hits the all those fruity notes. That oak starts to come in, like, right at the end of the mid palate, going into the finish. Yeah. The oak, tannicky notes comes in, and then it the finish develops back into that sweetness. Yeah. So the finish is very sweet to me. But you still get you know you're you know you're drinking bourbon. Yeah. That that oak comes through right as it's transitioning out of the mid palate into the finish. Yeah. Is this a uh, is this a buy? Yeah. Yeah. I would pick this up. Um, I wouldn't pay much more than about eighty bucks for it. No. This yeah. This tastes like a you know in that fifty to eighty dollar range, which I think is kind of the sweet spot in bourbon at the moment. This. I would not hesitate on yeah. this under 80 bucks. Not one second. Well guys, if you like what we're doing here, be sure to subscribe if you feel that we've earned your subscription. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Also don't forget that we have a live stream every Thursday at yep. 8.30 p.m. So be sure to check in on that. Yep. We have interactive chatting so we can talk to you guys at the same time that we're uh, filming he's the live stream. Little, he's a little chatty. We'd love to be able to, to talk with you guys and, and yep. some of you new viewers and new subscribers. Thank you guys for yes. for subscribing um, and trusting yeah. in us to, to give you some, I guess, good bourbon content. We really do appreciate it. Yeah. Well, at least give you our half-baked opinions. <laughs> half-baked is uh, a little generous. <laughs> yeah. but, three, uh, three, uh, quarter baked. Yeah, a little yeah. quarter baked. Yeah. Yeah. Quarter baked opinions. Um, Might not even be baked. <laughs> under baked. <laughs> <laughs> our gooey opinions. Our gooey, uh, our gooey chocolate chip cookie opinions. And if you like what we're doing, please hit that like button. It really does help us with the algorithms and get yeah. our videos out there. So thank you guys again so much. We appreciate it. Till next time, be safe. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers.